This is Jay on LA, and today I'm going to speak about two topics. The first one is the way the city is handling our budget crisis. Our Office of Finance seems to have a COVID problem, and they tell us they cannot produce invoices in order to collect money for people who are trying to get permits for their social equity licenses in cannabis. I estimate there's between a half a million and a million dollars in fees that have not been invoiced, yet people are paying rent in order to wait for those invoices to come in. Every month those invoices are not produced is another month rent. And I think it's ridiculous that a city of this size who doesn't furlough people, can't cross train people and get them into a department that is seriously in trouble because of COVID and get invoices generated. That brings me to the way we do our business in the city. Asking every department to take a flat rate cut is completely ridiculous. Those departments that are revenue generating should get more people and generate more revenue for a city that's just waiting for Joe Biden to give them a handout. It's been mismanaged. It continues to be mismanaged. And it's not just this council and it's not just this mayor. Villaraigosa did it and we complained about it then. Everything falls on deaf ears in this city. It doesn't matter if it's budget advocates, budget advocacy, or just smart people who know business better. So there has to be a better way for this city to do its crisis economic management, but they haven't figured it out yet. So I would implore this mayor to put together a blue ribbon group of people to sit down with him and talk to him about how to generate more revenue, how to make departments that are core service departments fully funded, and how to be sure that revenue generating departments are not cut back, but are actually enhanced during this time to help bring us more revenue. The second subject I want to bring to you is the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment. Enough is enough. For all of you who are neighborhood council members, who are very unhappy with this new general manager for the way she is dictating how we spend our money, what we spend our money on, not allowing us to spend our money, and in the case of budget advocates, money that's not even the city's, she tried to steal and put into her own department to save hours and jobs. Money given by neighborhood councils to budget advocates to be able to operate the way we have done for more than a decade. This general manager continues to do overreach. This general manager, I don't think, has any clue about neighborhood councils and what they really do. And I would implore every neighborhood council and every neighborhood council member who is unhappy with things this new general manager has done send me an email. You can send it to sgrest at aol.com. Yes, it's time for a change in that department, and the change has to go from the top. This is Jay on LA.